Hello and welcome to my screencast. My name is Andrea Carver. Have you ever thought about strategies you use to improve your students' reading skills? One important strategy, I believe, is to monitor your students' reading and how well they are comprehending what they are reading. In this screencast, I will show you how to use the supplementary reading program, Renaissance Place, to print the student's points accumulated report. This report will show you how many points the students has accumulated and how well their comprehension was on the quiz. Let's begin. On your desktop, you will need to find your icon IAR for Renaissance Learning and double click. This will bring you to, you will click I am a teacher slash administrator. Now you will need to enter your username and password. Remember, your username is not case sensitive, but your password is case sensitive, so make sure your caps lock is not on. Now click login. You are at the home page of Renaissance Learning. Here we will click the orange accelerated reader button, which will provide a drop down menu. On this menu, we will select Report. On the reports page, you can do either reading, vocabulary, literacy. They have other reading and quiz management. We will click reading practice. On this page, you need to go down to the bottom box and click students points. Here you will customize your report. You may select either a student, you may select a class, or you may select all classes. For certain students, you click students. Then your students will appear alphabetical. You just click the box beside their name. You may click just one student, two, or however many. If you notice, the Save Selection button. You will now click that when you are finished. Brings you back to your customization page. Notice in the box it now says three students selected. To pick a class, click the down arrow and a drop down menu will appear. Scroll down to which class you want and click. Now that will be shown in the box. Reporting Parameter Group. I want all of my students, it doesn't matter which demographics, so I usually leave that one alone. Reporting period. You may either do the whole year or you can do your customized dates. With the customized dates, click the circle and then you can either double click the box and type in your own date. Or you can go to the down arrow and select your dates. Now the two green arrows on either side will take you month by month in chronological order, either backwards or forward. Another way is to click the down arrow. Here you can scroll down and do your month, do the date, and then click the day and that will be the beginning and then the ending is the same way click the down arrow click your month your next option is students or points earned if you click students it will print the report by placing the students in alphabetical order if you click points earned it will print the report with the student's name, but will list them with the highest points first to the lowest point. I can group by class or do not group. 
I like Mike to be organized, so I do mine by class. By doing that, I do not have to worry about the page break. And then the last option is to show these options on your report. Click it if you want them. Unclick if you do not. I like to have my options on the report so I can see what I did. Notice you have view report at the bottom and at the top. Click either one. And here is a copy of your report. Notice that the names are in alphabetical order. Shows you the points earned, how many they've been awarded, how many they've used, and how many are available. To print this report, bring your cursor down and a drop menu will appear. This will make it fit to the page. This makes it fit to your screen. You can zoom out you can zoom in you can save it to a, a computer a desk wherever you want to save or print it and then follow the instructions for your printer thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it